Welcome to this or that video series produced by UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today we will be looking at water hyacinth and frog's bit. Both of these are commonly found floating aquatic plants. However, water hyacinth is invasive. Here are a few tips to help you tell them apart. Water hyacinth, when flowering, will have showy purple flowers, unlike frog's bit which has inconspicuous white flowers. In this picture here, you can clearly see the difference between them. When these plants are not flowering, the next best thing to look at is the roots of the plant. The roots of water hyacinth are black in color, whereas the roots of frog's bit are white. You can also feel the leaf stalk of the plant. Water hyacinth's leaf stalk has a fleshy and spongy texture. Frog's bit is smooth and rigid. While you have the plants in hand, Check out the underside of any young leaves. The underside of young frog's bit leaves have a distinct spongy reddish disc. The underside of young water hyacinth leaves are smooth, lacking a spongy disc. Both of the plants can be commonly found anywhere in Florida. Water hyacinth was introduced for use in water gardens to showcase their beautiful purple flowers. Unfortunately, once this plant escapes to natural areas, it can completely take over. Water hyacinth outcompetes its native counterparts and has detrimental effects on the ecosystem and the hydrology of the areas that this plant inhabits. So the next time you think you see a frog spit, take a closer look as it may be the invasive species of water hyacinth. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County office.